Hello there. In this video, I'm going to speak about different trail running shoes models. The idea is to give you a picture, a general picture of the type of shoes that are out there, whether they have more or less cushioning on the forefoot, on the back, how firm the cushioning is, how rigid the shoe is, and overall, I'll speak also about the structure of the shoe. So let's get to it. Here you have an overview of the four shoes, except for the Mammoth, the other three are trail running shoes. I'll leave a link in the video description. The Mammoth are Cortex approach shoes. They have little cushion, but are quite firm and comfortable. The Salomon are good for technical terrain, protective, enough cushioning in the back, little in the forefoot. La Sportiva nail it with the Akashas, protective, well cushioned yet firm. I love them. The Exodus are extra cushioning running shoes with a great trail outsole. They have a four millimeters drop. When choosing a trail shoe, think of the terrain you walk in and choose the amount of cushion and rigidness accordingly. Non-Gore-Tex shoes will dry quicker and breathe better. Pay attention to the lags and the protection the shoes offer. It's important that you have room for your feet to expand after walking for many hours. Always try the shoes in the evening as the foot swells during the day and put on the socks you'll be using for hiking. Make sure you allow extra room at the front. You'll need that space for your toes when you go down the hill. I included the Mammoth here just to show different options. As they are approach shoes, they have very little cushioning and are quite rigid, but I like to wear them in the city from time to time. If you want extra protection and don't need a lot of forefoot cushioning, the Salomon are fantastic. This model is wider than the Speed Goat, by the way, and has a different outsole which will do well in mixed terrains. La Sportiva is the most random model and I think they're fantastic hiking shoes. However, if you decide to try them, order at least half a size bigger than your usual size, if not a full size extra actually. That's how short they are. When it comes to the width, I find them in par with the Salomon and the Mammoth. The Exodus are great if you need extra cushioning, but don't worry, they're not wobbly at all. In fact, they are firm, just not as much as the others. They also have more toe room than the rest. I think they'll do great both off-trail and on roads. In case the weight of the shoes is important to you, here you can see the weight of different models. I hope that helps. I decided to include this shot so that you can take a look at the different outsoles. You have to take that into consideration in case your hike will have mixed terrain, more road walking, etc. Obviously, also take into account the amount of cushioning, especially if you're going to have a lot of road walking. Look at the length of these legs. I think the Exodus have 5 millimeters, and so does La Sportiva, I believe, if not 6 millimeters actually. The design of the outsole is different, but I really like both of them. I hope you find this video helpful and it helps you decide which model to get in the future. If you have any comment, please write them down in the comment section down below. And if you like the video, give it a thumb up so that it motivates me for the next one. Thanks for watching and see you on the trail. Bye.